Media is here at Aircraft Interiors Expo 2018 visiting an Apex member company, Smart Sky Networks, which is relatively new on the uh, IFEC, or IFC, I should say, scene. Um, you've got an LTG 4T, 4G network, which is 55% complete now, approximately. Um, is that correct? And how long until we see the full, full network up and running? So right now with that 55% uh, complete, that's uh, we're really outfit ready. So we've been doing, there's a lot of prep work that goes into preparing the towers, we're using existing towers that are out there and getting them all ready, um, ready to install our equipment. So we're waiting for that equipment to start coming off the lines. We've got all the fiber going to the, the sites. And so it's really just about when we're ready to start hanging all the gear. So we can hang the gear very quickly. And so it's all about the prep work. Cool, so everything's sort of chugging along. It is, it is. So, and we expect to have everything in place and the network, uh, as far as our customers are concerned, would be in the October time frame. Excellent. And this uh, solution is for the North American continent only, correct? Currently. Okay. That is, uh, we're, we're doing domestic U.S. Okay. for our launch network. All right. Um, you've been testing hardware on a Cessna. Yes. Test bed aircraft, and you've also just got some FAA parts manufacturer approvals, correct. which are going to kind of open the door for a lot of more certification that's required, correct? Yes, so we've kind of taken a partner approach to uh, getting aircraft certified. Each aircraft has to have its own STC certification. So typically, the first one is the hardest to get, where you're going through a lot more of the more rigorous testing and so forth. And once you uh, get through that process, then the next step is to take all of the parts, show that they're conforming with all the FAA standards so you can reproduce all these parts exactly the same. So we get our parts manufacturing authority, which is essentially the part number that the FAA recognizes that we can ship to our partners and then they can go and get their individual STCs on each other. And that's where our partner companies and the Duncan claim and see and all our other partners are on, on our website. They're gonna be moving forward to gain the STCs on all their various uh, aircraft that they will do the installs on those particular airframes that will help us in launching our network. Okay, good. That all sounds great as well. Um, I think in the IFC community especially, you know, there's a lot of talk about uplinks and downlinks and bandwidths and KU, KA, ATG, uh, so there's kind of a lot of noise. How would you cut through the noise and give a 30 second elevator pitch on why Smart Sky is the best solution that airlines should uh, choose? It's a very good question because a lot of people like to confuse with what works the best. And so what we would like to talk about is the customer experience. And so one of the things that our network brings being an ATG network is we bring extremely low latency. So what would that mean for a passenger on the aircraft? It's, it's getting on the internet. When you hit your page load time, if you've got high latency, you've got a natural delay in there. So uh, in effect, a satellite system, you hit that, it's gonna be several seconds before the whole system will load up your page. Our page, web load page times are, are an order of magnitude about a third of the time it takes. And so when you start looking at a large aircraft, everybody surfing the internet, it makes an overall much, much better experience for the passengers. And it's more about the usability of your network and not just about a theoretical download speed. Sorry, nobody wants to wait three seconds anymore. A few years ago it was okay, but these days that just doesn't cut it. Not in today's society. No. All right, is there any other exciting news from Smart Sky? Uh, we're continuing to build out our network and we are uh, pushing hard into the uh, commercial aviation segment. We're hoping we'll have some uh, really good news coming here before the end of the year.